Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online episode of Did You Know? My name is Saints Fan, and today, did you know there was a secret armory in the game? This is something that's been in the game for probably maybe close to two ish years now, and I never knew about it, and I think a lot of people might not know about it because I don't think it's actually advertised anywhere. And unless you're really, really paying attention to the wording on the wall, you're not going to notice this. Now, I will say what the armory does is it's your gun locker. So you may have a couple of these already purchased. You may have one in your office. You could have one in your nightclub, which we'll get into. I believe maybe you can have one in the hangar and the bunker. But the place we're going to be taking a look at is the Avenger. Yeah, the helicopter plane thing that you can spawn in that's an absolute tank and that's super fun to mess around with with your friends. There's actually an armory in there. There's a gun locker inside. And it literally took me like 10 minutes to figure out where this thing was. And if you go inside the Avenger, clearly you can see it's not very big. So it's not like there's many places for a freaking armory to hide. But if we actually take a look and we pay attention to the details and the writing on the wall towards the cockpit, right before you get in, it says armory. Now, I think the reason many people, myself included, did not know about this is because it kind of takes a couple seconds of you standing in front of the armory before the, the actual notification that says you can access it pops up. Normally, you would just probably run right past this, not even notice it, and just go into the cockpit. That's what I've done countless times. But if we actually stand in front of the armory and then hit right on the D-pad, you can now access your gun locker. And this is actually gonna be so helpful now for me because before, I never changed anything with my guns because it was so annoying. I know it's like a, it's kind of like a first world problem, but it was just annoying to go inside of my office or I don't know, one of my buildings, one of the properties I own and then get it done. Like it just, I feel like that just took too long and I just never ended up doing it. But now that I know I can basically have, or I can call in my Avenger, which spawns all over the map and I can get to it in about like three seconds, most probably with my oppressor Mark II, this is going to be awesome because I, I'm now going to be actually be able to use the gun locker and I'll, I'll be able to test different loadouts and stuff and mess around with the guns I actually want to see. And what's also amazing about having a gun locker in your Avenger is it's literally two steps away from the Mark II station. So not only can you customize your guns and put all kind of crazy attachments and stuff and switch out the ammo and all that, but you can go and decide which guns you actually want to see. So while it's not like the biggest of things, I think this is just something that's awesome to know. And I'm kind of upset at myself for not realizing this was there sooner. Before we end the video though, there's actually another secret armory. I have made a video on this in the past, but just I wanted to throw it in here because this is another armory or gun locker that's not really advertised and it doesn't stand out. It's literally built into a wall. If you go inside of your nightclub, and you go on the opposite wall from where your safe is, if you just walk along the wall, you will see at the top left, it says press right on the D-pad to open up the gun locker. And this is another little secret place, or another little secret gun locker that I don't, again, I don't think Rockstar really advertised. So if you're ever in your nightclub and you want to change your guns, then you can do so by going to that wall. I mean, it all works the exact same, but I mean, you can see when it's closed, it's it's definitely not noticeable at all. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully these two little things help you guys out, even if it is just every now and then. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy and found it helpful. Subscribe for these every single Saturday. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.